Time for stories to start your morning, sponsored by Ram Trucks, built to serve. And we are talking Bengals underdog Sunday against the Cleveland Browns, probably because Joe Burrow is going to sit out, get a little bit healthier for that playoff run. So with Burrow resting, a Cincinnati loss Sunday likely means a first round matchup against Mac Jones and the Patriots. Nick, you surprised the Bengals would perhaps opt for a likely wild card matchup with the Patriots by sitting Burrow? Well, as has been the case throughout the year, I just like to, you know, I like when actions tell us how people really feel. And we have had many of those instances from the Patriots themselves when it comes to their quarterback. Their actions speak far louder than Kevin Wilde's words. And now we have not only Joe Burrow sitting out, but Joe Burrow at his media availability made it seem like a whole host of Bengals are going to sit out. And Vegas certainly thinks that as the line is the Browns minus six. So I find that so interesting, Wilds, and here's why. Everyone knows Belichick's the best coach in football. The Bengals know that in theory... The Patriots should be a particularly tough matchup because the Patriots have been preparing for this exact matchup for years. Why else would they covertly videotape the Bengals when the Bengals were awful and then lose draft picks because of it? Because they're trying to build the dossier in case you ever play. That happened, buddy. The draft pick was taken. Again, that's not me. That's the NFL (laughs) acting, saying the Patriots were cheating, trying to get an edge on the Bengals. That wasn't for that season, that game. That was long-term. So why, why would the Bengals do this? Are they dummies? Do they not know how the playoffs work? Or are they saying, yeah, no matter how good the coach is, no matter how much surreptitiously obtained video you have of us, you're still starting McCorkle. So we don't think McCorkle can win a road playoff game, so sign us up. We'd rather play him than the Colts. We'd rather (laughs) play him than the Raiders or the Chargers. We want McCorkle. That's At least that's how my brain sees it. Tell me what I'm missing. Of course. Well, you're missing a few things. And first of all, Broussard, let me just say that this is very difficult for me to do. Because much like the Patriots themselves, I am laser focused. La- two lasers. Zoom on Miami. We don't look ahead to Cincinnati until we're literally on to Cincinnati. Right now, we are on to Miami. So just laser beams at Brian Flores and the Miami defense and Tua. That's it. That being said. I think the exact opposite. I think Zach Taylor and the Bengals say, ooh, imagine if we have to play the number one scoring defense in the entire NFL and the offense led by TBG, who fresh off of a national championship, we know this guy can play well in the big moments, will have his first chance to win a playoff game in this very stadium. Ooh, we better rest all of our guys so we're at Full strength when the baby goat but comes they to Cincinnati. Be that is the more likely take, Nicholas. Not that they they want Bill Belichick. Broussard, but if no they win, they wouldn't be the playing Patriots. them. If they win, well, they're the three I, seed. Then they should. Then they, they well, they want to rest. They don't, well, they don't know if they're going to play those guys and they don't win. Then they've got the worst of both worlds. Then you might be injured and okay. you have to play the Patriots. That is a losing proposition. Gotcha. All right, Nick. I, I got to say this, Nick. Uh, you know, longtime journalist, in the interest of fairness, I'm not saying you're wrong, but in the interest of fairness, the Patriots videotaping the Bengals sideline, it was just for a feature. Just for a feature story. Then why'd they lose a draft pick, buddy? Feature story. I'm, oh, I'm sure. just saying that. Was, I'm just NFL telling both sides of the story. I'm just telling both sides, of the, uh-huh. both sides yeah. of the story, okay? Yeah. <laughs> An innocent okay. feature. Right. Yeah. Chris but Broussard. here's the, the yeah. simple explanation. The simple explanation that both of you are missing is that Joe Burrow limped off the field last week, and you all saw it. Don't act like you didn't sure. see it. Joe Burrow limped off the field. His knee is banged up. So if I'm the Cincinnati Bengals, I'm saying, hmm, if we lose, we might play the Patriots. Good chance we play the Patriots. But I would rather be healthy and play whoever. The Chiefs, the Patriots, the Colts. That's right. Bring them on. I'm willing to play whoever as long as my main man is healthy. So I'm sitting out Joe Burrow for this week, 
get him an extra week's rest so that yeah. knee is good and sturdy when we face, I guess it'll I, be the Patriots or whoever it is. That I, is all this is about, Nick. And let me remind you, Joe Burrow's been sacked more than any quarterback in the NFL. I know. 51 times. That's six more than the nearest guy. That Last time they played the Browns, he got sacked five times. All right? Yeah. And the Browns, okay. in-state yeah. rival, they'll be looking to spoil something. And uh -huh. so this is a smart move Here's by the, the Bengals. Problem. It's not anything about wanting Mac Jones. Just stop it. There's multi-level problems here. First one is that the Mac Jones, or I'm sorry, Mac Jones, that Burrow is not the only one who's going to be sitting. Burrow at least implied that there's going to be a whole host of guys sitting who didn't limp off the field and then, you know, dance and celebrate in, that lo in the locker room on that horribly injured knee when he's smoking cigars and firing pretend guns in the locker room. He looked really injured. That's first of all. Second of all, let's just say for the sake of argument, and I understand it's impossible to conceptualize this, but that the Chiefs were a wild card team and not the division winner six years in a row. If the Chiefs are the five seed, you think anybody is doing anything possible that allows them to fall into that matchup? Of course not. So why would you do it? When the Patriots have Gillette, when the Patriots have Bill Belichick, when the Patriots have the experience, well, is it maybe because, well, the Patriots quarterback, listen, Wilds, I'm not saying the quarterback's been awful. I'm just saying he's been no Davis Mills. I'm saying when we're ranking rookie quarterbacks, we've got to say <laughs> Davis Mills is head and this. neck and then some more neck and a little more neck you and shoulders above the rest of the field. That, that's a oh, long neck. Oh, I'm sorry. Rookie quarterback this. comparison as starter since Halloween. One guy is better, 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 better. But listen, it's not fair to ask McCorkle to be as good as Mac Jones. Can we just show how how quarterbacks done against teams that are still alive for the playoffs? Ten giveaways and a less than 80 passer rating. McCorkle, Heineke stinks. Darnold's on his way out. Justin Fields, hmm, hmm. So maybe, maybe, Wilds, maybe the Bengals have been taping the Patriots too. And by taping the Patriots, I mean watching the games. And they're like, we're not afraid. Okay. <laughs> like, hey, we're not, we're not afraid. Sign us up. We're well, more I, worried about Carson Wentz. Or maybe, Jenna, maybe, or maybe I, they don't I know what they're doing. I'm fully supportive what is it, Kevin? of believing in yourself and looking in the mirror and saying, like, I am awesome. I can do it. I think that is very valuable. I don't think it extends to sports where Nick Wright wants to talk the baby goat and say that he's bad and that he wants to play baby. It doesn't work in sports. It works for yourself. It doesn't work in sports. Happy Friday. We got to go. Undisputed starts right now. See you tomorrow.